Holy shit. Guys, what the f is going on in the MMA community? Demetrius Johnson is doing what? Okay, guys, what is up? And welcome back to Why Day MMA, where I give you my thoughts, but more importantly, ask for you guys' thoughts because there's a lot of crazy shit always going down in MMA, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts to start a conversation to, well, uh, you know, because there's just something happening every damn day in MMA, right? And today we're going to be talking about one championship. Yes, I know a lot of you are UFC fans, but guys, if you are a UFC fan, you know who Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson is, DJ aka the GOAT aka IBJJF world champion at brown belt aka MMA world champion in both the UFC and one championship there's a lot of accolades that go with Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson however he's going for something even far greater than anything he's ever accomplished and he's doing it in one championship and a lot of people thought he had retired from MMA so but no he hasn't retired instead he's doing something far more dangerous than he's ever done he's going to be fighting Anatoly Malikin in a mixed rules fight yes Anatoly Malikin the heavyweight light heavyweight and middleweight champion in MMA in one championship the first ever three weight division world champion in a major organization oh jesus what is going on anyways uh so i'm gonna give you my thoughts on this i'm gonna give you more details about what the rules exactly are but first if you guys enjoy my content go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to help your boy out and support the content and then also leave your thoughts down below in the comment section and if you're interested in more videos then you're more than welcome to subscribe and join the wide day mma family 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 Okay, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. This is Noah Nuwade! So, mixed rules open weight MMA fight. What does this mean? Well, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, if you've been following him and his very, very outstanding YouTube channel, you've noticed that Demetrius Johnson's been competing a lot in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He just won the IBJJF Pan American Championships at the master level at Brown Belt. Yeah, a lot of people think he should already be a black belt given everything he's done and accomplished, but. He's a brown belt, and he won the world championships, and uh, yeah. He didn't only compete in his weight, though. He also competed in the absolute division, and what that is is means he's going against heavyweights or whoever else wants to be in that division in grappling. And doing this, he beat a guy who was 240 pounds, which is double his size if i'm not mistaken and he beat him soundly he ended up finishing him via choke and then he made it all the way to the finals ended up losing to a guy and uh, that was his first time ever losing in jujitsu since he's been competing but the fact that he did open weight and submitted a much larger guy it, it was just blowing up in the mma community right however he's taking shit to a whole new level now with one championship and in this mixed rules fight when he's going to be fighting Anatoly Malikin, it's similar to how he fought Rod Tang to where each round there's a different rule set. So when he fought Rod Tang, the first round was Muay Thai, the second round was MMA, which is where he finished the job, and then the third round would have been Muay Thai once again. However, this time it's a five round fight with a much larger opponent. Again, like I said, a heavyweight versus, well, a flyweight. And in the first round, of this mixed rules open weight fight it's purely submission grappling so thank god thank god chatri city on tongue and, and demetrius Jack, thank god they had some sense when making this matchup because that's so much better than like the first round being muay thai or some shit like that however it gets worse because the second round is gonna be muay thai and if you're unfamiliar with what muay thai is it's kickboxing with elbows and knees and clinch yeah quite dangerous the third round is gonna be mixed martial arts where they mix it all together hopefully it doesn't make it that far because yeah i don't i don't want to see that yeah i don't i mean look at i'm wearing his shirt i don't want to see this and the fourth round if it makes it that far we have kickboxing and then the fifth round capoeira which i don't even know how they really scored that it's pretty much like a capoeira from what i'm familiar with it's pretty much like a dancing martial art to where they dance but they can also throw strikes 
a lot of kicks a lot of spinning attacks yeah i don't know how they score that but i feel like they just threw that in there because it's not gonna go that far now what are my thoughts on this well first what are your thoughts on this go ahead and comment down below what you guys think about this open weight matchup and as you're doing that i'm gonna go ahead and give you my thoughts and so my thoughts when talking about this ridiculous matchup i mean one championship if you remember correctly and i'm gonna go over a couple of more one championship announcements so please stay to the end of the video but one championship last year announced that they were gonna do an open weight muay thai tournament and uh, try and get guys like Taiwan Chai, Super Bon, I don't know, maybe Chingas Alazov and some heavyweight Muay Thai fighters, open weight division, right? Rod Tang, Jonathan Haggerty, Super Lick. But it never really came to fruition and it got me excited, right? I was ready to watch some undersized people get knocked out and, uh, you know, just the fun of it, right? I mean, in Japanese culture, we're used to, like back in the Pride days, we're used to seeing weird shit like that and it's exciting but this one is is just above the top like i didn't think a guy like demetrius johnson would accept this i mean at the end of the day demetrius johnson this is the same demetrius johnson that almost created the flyweight division in the ufc they only had a bantamweight division that was as low as they went at the time he lost to dominic cruz and it was almost like clear that it, there was a size disadvantage and then after he lost they created the flyweight division and he never went back up he never tried to claim double champ status he was okay just staying at flyweight and uh, sometimes he got a little flack for that especially after conor mcgregor did his thing made the whole double champ status and whatever but he got a bit, little bit of flack for that and now he's fighting a heavyweight that's just okay now like i said i'm concerned for his safety but i'm glad that the first five minutes is gonna be submission grappling to be honest pull guard go after the legs he'll hook this motherfucker as many times as you can that that's my thoughts on it i mean that's my path to victory if i'm demetrius johnson who knows though he wrestled the guy at the absolute division he's probably confident he could wrestle anatoly malikin which i wouldn't be confident i mean anatoly malikin just fought Rainier de ritter who's a much bigger grappler than demetrius johnson so i'm not confident in the fact that demetrius is going to be able to like take this guy down and and try and do what he wants with him i think he's probably gonna have to pull guard get this guy to engage with him and uh, try and go after some legs maybe get up to the back and choke him out something like that but anatoly's neck well it's not there it's non-existent this guy definitely seems like he's on some steroids but you know second round's muay thai so i feel like anatoly's probably gonna try and stall out the grappling get to muay thai rounds and try and just bang this one out demetrius is so much smaller so it's gonna be interesting to see how he deals with that aspect against Rod Tang, he kind of backed up a lot so i'm assuming it's going to be the same thing talking about a guy like anatoly who in all of his like 13 fights he has 13 knockouts pretty freaking ridiculous but then if it gets to the third round in mma yeah i just hope it doesn't pass the first round but what do you guys think about this open weight matchup are you scared for demetrius johnson i think he should be but if he completes this demetrius johnson beats and it told him like there's no goddamn discussion i don't want to hear about no john jones i don't want to hear about no gsp i don't want to hear about no damn khabib namagomedov demetrius johnson is solidified as the greatest fighter martial artist whatever you want to call him of all time i already think personally that he's the greatest of all time but this would just solidify his ghost status even more yeah what are your thoughts on that but talking about one championship i think we also have to talk about the upcoming one championship card gonna be headlined by Rahian Aricel versus Alexis Nicholas for your lightweight kickboxing world championship Rahian Aricel is the lightweight kickboxing and the lightweight Muay Thai world champion in one championship so we're finally going to see him back in action. We haven't seen him since last year. This is going to be the first fight of this year for him. And Rahian Aricel, if you haven't watched this guy, he is a African animal. So can't wait for that super excited this card also is co-headlined by tyru tolo he's gonna be going against isaac mitchell it's gonna be a fun grappling match we have yet to see tyru tolo back in action since his last matchup against abdul karidov yeah it's i i mean i'm just excited to watch tyru tolo 
However, we also have Cade Rutolo on this card as well, going against Leandro Lowe. That's going to be a fun one. The Rutolo brothers are both going to be competing on this one. Oh, I think that they're getting them in on this April 5th card in order to then try and fit them in again when they come to the U.S. in September and in August. So I think this is enough time for them to go hard at it get a fat paycheck for a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu match and then get back to action. We also have Suobak versus Vladimir Kuzmin on this card. Vladimir Kuzmin just fought on Friday night fights and he's making his way back to the main stage of one championship. And so that's also a very exciting fight. These are the latest fights for one championship. This That's the next card. Guys, let me know your thoughts on not only the open weight, Demetrius Johnson versus Anatoly Malikan fight, but also the new card. Who y'all got? Where are you watching it? And if you don't really watch one championship, are you going to be watching it? Thank you guys for tuning into the video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And you're more than welcome to join the family and subscribe if you, if you wish to do so. But with that being said, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.